Hey everybody, welcome back to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron and today we're upgrading our sausage game. That's right, an electric sausage stuffer. Come along with us, stay tuned. All right, here it is. Huge box and some of you might be wondering, hey, we've seen your sausage making videos before, you already have stuffers, and I do. The five pound is very easy to use by yourself, but you have to fill it up all the time. The bigger 15 pound one, it works great for making large batches of sausage. The problem is it's very difficult to use by yourself. So I needed something that would hold the weight and that could produce some sausage, but that I could do by myself because I don't always have extra hands helping me. My wife does a great job of helping me make sausage, but sometimes she's not here when I'm making it. So an electric version is what we were looking for. And you know what? We found us a Vevar electric sausage maker, and we're gonna tear into this thing and see what it's all about. All right, like I said before, this is a huge box. It is heavy, it's about 50 or 60 pounds. I noticed when it got here, when they delivered it, I had a big old chunk missing out of this. I guess something fell on it and damaged it. The cardboard is, is kind of flimsy, but it looks like they maybe had some good packing materials inside. So hopefully the stuffer didn't get damaged. So let's tear into this thing, see what we got. That's encouraging. Piece of wood. Oh, they got it kind of crated inside. Maybe that makes up for a lot of that, that weight. As you can see, they got plywood, plywood on the sides, plywood on the ends. No plywood here, but man, they did a good job of creating this. So it looks like we're gonna have to get some different tools to get this out. Be right back. Guys, a little household hammer here. Let's see if that's good enough to get it apart here. And just to give you an idea, this thing was crated all the way around like that and on the bottom. So they did a good job of putting it in the box for sure. All right, we've got all that wood off the top. We're gonna see if we can get this thing out without having to take all this crate apart, so dig in here. All right, got some styrofoam on top. Another layer of protection. There's the stuffer. Let's see if we can get it out of here without having to tear apart all that wood. All right, got it stood up here. Let's see if we can't just slide this heavy sucker out of here. All right, got it out of there successfully. Things heavy. All right, we got it out of the box, and I tell you, it is huge. Uh, we'll get this thing unwrapped here, see what we got. I get all these cut loose here. Got the foot pedal, cut that loose. All right, so you have several switches here on this. You have a, a run, a stop, which will stop it. You have an off, and you have an on. You have 12 different speeds from low to high. And then you got this switch over here, which is, that's your down switch, which is controlled by your foot pedal. And then you have your up switch, which once you would flip it up, it just automatically rises to the top. That's when you're gonna fill your stuff up. So we're gonna rise that up so we can get this, get this off here. But remember, it's got 12 speeds on the down. It's only got one speed coming up. Once it gets to the top, you can remove this and it, then this thing shuts off automatically. So remember, this is up, that's idle, and that's down. So when it's on the down slope, when we push that, so that was high speed, so we can even go low speed. Barely moves. What that does for you is gives you the ability that when you want to go slower with your sausage making, you can slow it down. Or if you got it under control, let's say you you start as a beginner over here, then you're an expert over here at the at the fast, and you just 
you know, get that sausage and, and pile it out of there for sure. So then when you're ready to fill it, you just tip it over, fill it up, put it back in there and you're done. If you want to take it all the way out, you pull it to the side and then remove it. It has these handy little feet on the sides to keep it keep this off the ground and to keep that keep it even for loading. In the package, it also came with sausage stuffing tubes, a bunch of them, from large, like a bologna size, and then it goes down. So you have one, two, three, four, five different tubes, which is great. That neck, I always get people asking me. The ring here is, let's burn an inch, right at two and an eighth. So right across here, we'll burn an inch. Probably two and an eighth across, inside diameter is two inches. So the ones that they send with you, you're looking at two and an eighth. So two and an eighth mount there. I think these meet your maker ones that I have are right at two inch, but they fit in there just fine. So this is a 10 liter version. I think it'll hold probably about 20 pounds pretty easily, maybe even 25. Uh, what, what I wanted to point out is it came with a rubber gasket up here at the top already and they send you two more rubber gaskets. So you'll have plenty for replacements if you need it. It comes with a cleaner again, and it comes with the sausage stuffing tubes. When you, the care and maintenance of this is fairly easy. Uh, the instructions say to make sure you wash it and dry it. Just wash it with warm, soapy water. Make sure that it is unplugged when you clean the body of it and try not to get any kind of moisture into the electronics at the top. All right, we'll get this put back together. Again, it's really easy. You just slide this thing right onto those notches and swing it up. It's done. Now you got both hands free, pedals down on the ground, got your sausage casing, then you can support your casing here, and then you can roll your your sausage out. What I run into when I'm when I'm not when I don't have both hands is I'm supporting with one and I'm cranking with the other. And so as that sausage comes out, you know, I can't I gotta stop and I gotta curl it or I gotta stop and I gotta push it out of the way so I'm not getting a bunch of creases and crinks. So uh, then with this, hit the button, we're going down, and then we're using both hands and support the sausage here and make my roll or whatever else I'm doing there. So I'm very excited to use this thing, I'm telling you. Very excited. All right, a couple of last measurements just because I get asked a lot about how big stuff is. This base on this, on this stuffer is 14 and a quarter long and about 12 and three quarters wide. It stands up to the top of the box at 26 inches. And to the top, up to the top of that is about 37 inches. In case you have somewhere that you gotta store this, you'll know that. Just for grins, the horn out of the sausage is about five inches off the ground. In case you have something that, that you use there. All right, with all that said, this is a big one. This is a big sausage stuffer. Now they offer smaller units available too. We'll leave a link to this one down in the description below to get you the best deal possible but you can use that link also to find the smaller ones. And you know what, if you own one of these, leave a comment below how you like it, if you found any tips or tricks that we can use as we go through the sausage making journey with this electric sausage stuffer. As always guys, we appreciate you. If there's anything you ever wanna see, leave those in the comments below and we'll catch you on the next cook.